Okay, you know, before we start, I think my socks, I always feel more comfortable to free my toes. And take your hands and rub your feet, rub your toes. You know, how many times do you do this? Do you do this at all? These feet take you everywhere, right? Now use your thumb to press into the arch in your foot. Okay, just a nice massage. You know, it's even hard to have those massages anymore. And as you're moving along, pressing, go to your toes, touch your toes, and just press and massage whatever feels kind of a little tight, a little tense, and use your thumb to move along the center in your foot or your feet, your toes, and bring some nice, you know, some nice flow there, some nice um, blood as we're massaging the top of your feet, okay? And around your ankle joints with the thumb, just gentle movement, nothing really fancy, okay? And if you have a particular area in your feet that feels a little, ah, you know, let's stay there. And let's just do one minute here, just bringing our mind to our feet and feel grateful for these feet that they take us everywhere, right? Especially if you do lots of walking, you know, they do work very hard. And bring your left knee up. Now, take your hands from the big toe, slide the finger all the way up where your shin is. As you're coming down, use your, the back of your, the palm and press down, almost like you're pulling the shin down toward your ankles. As you go into the toes, use your fingers to massage, lift all the way up. As you're coming down, press with your back of your palm all the way down, adding a little bit, you know, resistance there. We're doing four more for the left leg, okay? So whatever leg you have, you're just doing that first, one single leg. And then again, just massaging the front of your leg, the shin. And give me two more, softening that fascia. And something probably we don't do often enough, and one more, beautiful. And let it drop the knee to the side. Let it relax. Keep your spine straight. You might notice that leg is becoming a little lighter, maybe softer. Let's stick the right foot up. Keep the left knee to relax. And again, we're going to come all the way up, massaging the shin and going down with the hands, with the back of your palm, massaging the shin. Nicely breathing, nothing fancy, just slow. If you feel the shin is tied, the front, just use both hands to massage it. And three more. Two. And last one. Very good. Come back center and keep your feet together, almost like you're coming into butterfly. Hold in your toes, nicely relax the shoulder, relax the arms, and gently just take the knees up and down. We just want to make a beautiful flow, relaxing the neck as you're moving forward, and relaxing the shoulders. Don't tense. You can feel the knees, you can feel the hip, just very slow movement. Doing one minute here, we really want to work with that hip. Twenty seconds. Ten. And three, two, 
One. Beautiful. Straight your legs and shake the legs. Relax completely. We're still going to work with the legs before we go a little bit more stretching. So you take the ball, place it under your the arch in your right foot. And you can take the two blocks at the back and place your hands on the block. And this gives you a little bit more support, you know, so you're not putting too much pressure on your wrist. So kind of put your hands on the block, give you a little bit of height, and then you can massage a little easier the arch in your right foot with that ball. And whatever you can get today, if you can go to the heel, to the front of your leg, using the ball, that's great. And just a little bit of massage, a little bit of loving care. Sometimes I want to go away the ball. So now drop your heel down, keep the ball center in your foot, and then just press down, press down the right foot, keep your left leg nicely relaxed. You can have your arms back, placing on the block, and pushing the right leg on the ball, give it a nice resistance here. So kind of shoulder back. And the block works like a brake, it's holding you from moving more. Give you a little more space to work with the right foot and hold here three, two, one, and take the ball, relax your right leg. Stay upright, pause for three breaths. And notice if your right leg kind of feel like a jello, soft, or like to turn to the right side. Just let it be. There are lots of trigger points that control the uterus and your kidney and your urine. So let's put it the left, <clears throat> um, put the ball under the left foot and put your hands back lifting the body open your chest take the shoulder back so you can relax and then just massage your left foot so so we're doing all this to prepare the body for yin practice sometimes when it's too tight and the blood is not flowing can get the best out of doing stretches so you just relax the nerves feel a little bit if there's tension there just massage under your left foot Of course, when you're doing this standing, you will feel it even more, but even this one is works. Now, place the ball, we're close to the heel, but where the arch is. And heel is down, press as if you were pressing on brake and hold. And relax, take the ball to the side, straight your legs, shake your left leg. And stay upright, pausing for a few breaths. See if your toes, feet kind of feel relaxed. Nothing to worry about. Now you're going to spread the toes, spread, 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 and bend. Breath and bend. And give me three more. Really open as wide as you can, lifting the toes up and bending as low as you can. Just work on those toes. See if you feel any tension there. And three more. Two. And last one. Beautiful, let the leg get 
stay relaxed and maybe a shake if you feel like there's some tight spot there and take your shoulder back. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna come now to actual poses of you. We're gonna come to Komasana, which is the cow pose. You take your right knee down, make sure you relax, bending the right knee very slow. And then take your left leg on top, And take your hands on your toes or feet, whatever is accessible to you. Stay in upright position. Try to relax. Let the hip drop down both sides. One side more than the other, that's okay. Relax your mind. Inhale deeply, exhale lower, slowly and comfortably, bringing the head down and relaxing. This is the time when you can use your block and you place one, maybe two under your forehead. And if you find this is very hard, just place your head, whatever you reach today. We're going to be here for two minutes. So I want you to totally find that comfortable position without any force. And try just to surrender to whatever your body is feeling now with no expectation and no judgment. Relax the jaw, relax the tongue. And continue breathing through that diaphragm, even though it feels restricted, but it's still you're strengthening that diaphragm. Five more breaths. Inhale and lift very slow, very slow. All the way up. Bring your arms on your feet, legs, whatever feels comfortable, spine straight. Lift your right arm up. Take your left arm behind and see if you can find your fingers. If for whatever reason you cannot find your fingers to interlace, use your shirt, hold on your shirt. But keep your right elbow up facing the ceiling. 
Dig deep, inhale. Exhale, lower to your comfort, whatever that comfort is. No forcing at all. And hold for one more minute here. Two more breaths. Inhale, come all the way up. Release your arms, pause for a few breaths. Relax your face. Take your right hand on your left knee. Take your left hand back. Take the blocks behind you. Put it halfway. Turn, press on the block behind to give you resistance and turn your head face your left side. Holding for one minute. Two more breaths. Come back center. Relax, pause. Slowly release your left leg. Slowly release your right, straight your legs. And just sit comfortably, no tensing at all. Just feeling, if you feel a little light, a little more relaxed. One more breath. We're gonna do the other leg, left leg down, right leg on top. And put your hands on your feet or anywhere you feel like you're sitting upright and you're relaxing. Find the contact of your hip against the mat. Really relax your mind. Take your hands back if you prefer to open your chest. Inhale, exhale lower slowly. Or you can just bring your hands on your feet and lower slowly. You can use the block to hold your head if you find it's challenging to come down.
थ्री मोर ग्रेन्स Inhale, come all the way up. Pause for two breaths. Relax completely. Take your right arm behind, bending the elbow. Lift your left arm, and then go back. Interlace the fingers if you can find them. If not. Hold on your shirt or your top. Keep your elbow up, stretching the whole arm, shoulder, and relaxing. Option inhale, and exhale, come all the way down and see if you find that comfortable, folding down slowly with the interlace finger. Sometimes feels a little challenging. So make it comfortable as you're coming down and stretch. Three more breaths. Inhale, come all the way up. Release your arms, sit comfortable, straight spine. Take the block. Behind you, take your left hand against your right knee and turn. Make it smooth. Make it comfortable. Breathe through it. Going very deep into the hip, and you massaging your organs. You stretching the spine. Three more breaths. Come back center. Relax completely. Prepare for diamond. It's different than butterfly. You bring your feet together, but it's a long diamond shape. First, you sit upright. Just nice, feeling the relaxation. Have no expectations. Just feel your hip, both cheeks pressing into the mat. One more breath, just completely relaxing. Prepare. Few options to come down. One option is to slide your legs against the shin, coming very slow, placing the block, resting, dropping the arms, relaxing. Second option, taking your arms under your legs, index fingers, all the fingers are facing up, even the pinky fingers is pressing against the floor and the palm facing up and the head comes down. You find what works for you on top or under. Make sure your fingers are relaxed and you are not forcing to come down fast.
working on your entire spine, working on your hip. Let's try to breathe through whatever you're feeling. Five more breaths. Inhale. Come all the way up. Sit comfortably upright. Hands on your knees or thighs. Relaxing. When you're ready, stray the leg, relax even more the knees. And just rest here, two breaths, pausing. We're going to come to fire lock and we're not going to stay too long because we already kind of worked very nice deep into the hip. Take your left knee, leg bend at the bottom. Take your right leg on top and come into that nice fire lock. Sit upright position, nice and straight. Now prepare your block. So we are not going to move forward. We're going to move to the side because you already did the forward bend. So bring your block to the right knee. You can put it high. You can put it halfway, whatever feels okay for you. Inhale, turn to the right knee. Exhale, lower all the way down. If you need to use two blocks, then use two blocks. Whatever works comfortable for you, rest. Just notice where you're feeling it. Where is that pull feel and how does it feel like? And just stay there, zoom into that spot, breathe through that spot. Relaxing the fingers, the shoulders, the jaw, the face. And you're resting the head on the block so you can relax the neck as well. Thank you. 
two more breaths here. Come all the way up. Relax, pause for two breaths. Turn and face your left knee and bring the blocks there. Take deep inhale. Exhale, moving toward the left knee, stretching the right side. Place the block according to your capacity. If you need to use two blocks, go ahead, use that. Now take your mind to the region or the spot that you're feeling is pulling and stay there, concentrate there. Relax the upper body, including your face, jaw time, and stay present. Two more breaths. Slowly come all the way up. With your hands, release your right leg gently. Release your left leg. Straight the leg. Pause for three breaths. Relax the knees. And we're going to come and do the opposite now. Opposite side. So you're taking your left leg on top, right knee down, and let's do the other side. And sometime one side might be very different than the other side. So it's okay. We're going to start on the left side, the left knee that is bended on the top. And we're going to put the block on that side. Relax for a moment. Settle into the posture. Make sure you're really relaxing here. Inhaling as you're turning your head toward the left knee to the left side. Exhaling, lowering gently, slowly down. Relax your face, relax the tongue. Relax the shoulder, relax the finger.
थ्री मोर ब्रेथ एंड लिफ वेर स्लो ली अप पास फॉर थ्री ब्रेथ रिलैक्सिंग कंप्लीटली Check the block to the right side, where your left toes are. Turn face that right knee. Inhale deeply. Exhale, coming down slowly. Now feel the challenge now on that side. Now go very smooth and stretch. Be patient with your resistance. Be patient with your stretch. Completely surrender and relax. Whatever comes out of it, it's still great. Breathe. Four more breaths. And very slow, come all the way up. For Benny, this is not easy. With your hands, release the leg. Just give them a nice hug. They might be sore. Straight the leg in front, and just pause for three breaths to relax the body. We're gonna take the tennis ball. Today, we're gonna to work differently with tennis ball. We're gonna line our belly, stomach. We're gonna place the ball where the hip flexors are. Now, I remind you that this is gonna be painful. If you find painful, remove the ball and do without the ball. So let's come in our belly. and place the ball on each side of your hip flexor. And you can just gently wiggle your hip, very gently. It's like a tiny millimeter. You don't wanna lose those hip flexor. So could be few centimeters, just moving the hip side to side, just feeling the sensation in front of your body where your hip flexors are. Perhaps you want to circle a tiny bit and relaxing those trigger points or muscles. And then turn the opposite direction, circling, tiny bit circle, feeling the balls there, nice and easy. Or you can even wiggle your hip side to side if that feels a little more relaxing. 
we can do that. So before we start doing anything major, take the block, place under front of your head, the third eye, and relax. You're gonna press your hip against the ball, just pressing, nothing else. Then you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna move your legs side to side, very slow. If you find anything that is creating sharp pain, change the ball, maybe position it differently, or maybe do this without the ball, whatever works for you today. And just with the knee bended, moving very slow, you're going to feel those balls a little more this way. You're also going to feel if there's a little bit tight spot in one side or both as you're moving along. One more here. And then release the legs down. The ball has gone already deep into the hip flexor. Lift your head up. Bring your left arm L shape to relax the shoulder. Bend your right knee. Hold on your right ankle if you can reach. This is when you can use the strap. Otherwise, maybe just lift it up. If you can reach, lift your upper body, reach the right ankle only. And as you're going along, if you feel like you want to rest your head on the block, as you're stretching the front, go ahead, do that. If you find that the block is not helping, stay up if you're too tired. Three more breaths. Release your right leg and bring your right ear on your block and rest completely, just surrendering. And keeping the balls there, they're, they're doing their own magic. And again, lift your upper body up so you can reach with the left arm holding on your left ankle. And slowly, you can just stay up high if you find it already challenging. If you find you can lower your head down and maybe resting on the block, go ahead, do that. Two more in here. And release your left leg. Take the balls to the side. Maybe bring them a little higher to the front. And just place your left ear on the block and relax. No balls under the head. Thank you. 
slowly. We're coming up. Just doing one more quickly. Take the right, one tennis ball, place it under your right shoulder in front. And straight your right arm to the side and then slowly turn to the right side and bending the left knee. Now you can intensify this or you can simplify it. Now you can place the block under your head. This makes it a little easier. The ball is under where your rotator is, the front shoulder. You can go very slow. You can lean tower the ball and stay away from the wall. Maybe a gentle movement five times like that and then you hold and you press. Three more, just slowly moving that ball into the right shoulder. Two more. Now we are just pressing the ball into the right shoulder. Right arm is straight to the side, and you opening and turning to the side to stretch it even more. Relax the neck, the fingers. Just doing three more breath here. Take the ball, bring your arms to the side, place this time left ear on the block to relax the right shoulder. Completely relaxing. When you're ready, place the ball under your left shoulder. If you find that helped your right side. And then straight your left arm to the side. Turn to your left side. And stretch. Maybe move slightly to feel that ball. Maybe slight movement back and forth. To just feel the sensation there, the ball. Two more, just a gentle move. And now you hold, you press, and you stretch. Two more breath. And gently come back. Take the balls to the side and place your right ear on the block and relax your left shoulder. And try to really relax here. And when you're ready, come all the way up. Open your knees very wide. And coming into child pose with the wide knee open so we can stretch 
the entire spine, upper body. Fingertips down, arms straight, wrist, elbows, fingers, everything is up except the fingers. Inhale, exhale, lower and stretch. And inhale, come all the way up for our nice final pose of relaxation. So normally we use uh, supported fish to block, but I like you to use cushion under your shoulders. Maybe make it a little high, because I want you to really relax. And you put the block under your head low, not very high. And you're coming into butterfly feet and find that cushion under your head. So you have blanket under your spine, block under your tailbone, and pillow under your head. So once you really feel comfortable here, you're not going into very high up. You want to make this really relaxed for the back, spine, and hip. Let the knees drop to the side and just rest completely. See if you can find that comfortable position and rest. Relax your face. Stay with your sensation, the feeling of relaxation here, stay present. Follow the rhythm of your breath, or perhaps whatever you're feeling pleasant, joyful, stay connected. Slowly straight your legs, relax the toes. Relax the entire face, 
your jaw, your tongue. Moving slowly to the side, dropping the hip down, finding that comfortable position to relax on the side. And when you're ready, come all the way up, sit on your blanket. And it should feel comfy, your blanket. And, and sit any way you like to sit. Keep your spine straight. Bring your hands in prayer, place in your heart center. May you always have good, joyful, happy, pleasant memories dancing in your conscious mind and subconscious mind to keep you even more happy and joyful and feeling grateful for all that that you have. Namaste. Namaste.